Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing? I hope you're there. I hope you you can hear me. Just uh, write something on the chat if you can. Let me turn on my light here so it's a little bit more clear. Okay. Ugh. Too much light. Let me let me change it. Maybe this one. Okay. Okay. Is that good? Awesome. Let me take this off. Okay. So let me open the video here. So I have. I can see the chat as always. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little. My nose is running. You understand? My nose is running. So I, I have to <laughs> probably blow my nose at some point. And it's running. Whoops. You understand? My okay, now we're good. Let's see if any of you will be here live with me. As always, send questions if you if you need to. Um, I'm here to. Um, answer your questions. <laughs> I actually have a funny story. So I don't know if you guys have seen a video on my channel about uh, the day that I went to Paris and I got ran over by a motorcycle. So that's my good story, my good travel story, that a motorcycle like hit me on the side. It, it was painful. And anyway, if you haven't watched the video, go go to the channel and watch the video. But now, today, I'm in London. So if you didn't know, that's why I'm in like weird hours. Um, <laughs> I'm in London right now. And um, uh, yesterday, I was walking on the street, just walking, and I saw a restaurant. So I saw a restaurant on my right. And <laughs> I was walking and looking at the restaurant and walking and then I kept walking and then I ran into a post, a light post. Post is like things you have on the street. They're like metal and they're like a like a cylinder. So I didn't see the post and I hit my head in the post. <laughs> So there you go. Yeah, now I have, you know, motorcycle accident in Paris, post accident in London. It was like a cartoon. You understand a cartoon, like an animated drawing, a cartoon. I was walking and I was like, you know, anyway, that's my good travel story for you today. I hope you enjoy. I, I bet that if people saw me hitting the post, they probably left. So I hope I made somebody's day a little happier. So <laughs> we'll see. Okay. So uh, today we're going to be speaking about mostly apps, 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 and um, give you guys. Um, I hope you had time to look over the email I sent yesterday about Anki, about Quizlet, about Super Memo and how you can use them. But I wanted to show you how to use Anki um, appropriately, like effectively. I learned more about Anki and I forgot uh, that you have to have the application for your computer. So I'm gonna show it to you guys how to uh, download step-by-step, -step, really simple, really easy, step-by-step -step how to use Anki, okay? So if you have it on your phone, making flashcards is usually easier if you make them on the computer and you just sync them to your phone because then they will appear. You have to have an account with Anki. If you don't have an account, make an account. So I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to start with Anki. It's actually Anki. It's not Anki. It's Anki. Um, and by the way, Anki is the Japanese word for memorizing. If you didn't know, now you do. <laughs> but okay, so I'm gonna share my screen with you so I can show you. Okay, so I can show you all the good stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna use slides today so much. This is WhatsApp. Okay, so 
IncuWeb. IncuWeb is where you're going to download your decks. Okay, so you have three different things. You have IncuWeb, you have Inky application for the computer, the software, and Inky um, for your phone. Okay. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. I'm going to close this. I'm going to leave this on. Leave this on. Okay. So, Inky Web, um, you're going to create an account, you know, when you get to Inky Web. When you're already um, logged into, you're going to see your account. So, okay. Let's just leave that for a moment and let's go download the Anki application, which I sent to you on the email. Okay. If you got my email yesterday, you got this website, apps.ankiweb.net. And then on this website is where you're going to download the program. So you can go all the way down here and then you can see for Windows, for Mac, for Linux, for everything. So here I downloaded Anki. I already downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it again, but it just downloaded. You you install it in your computer. Just a regular, regular thing. Um, so that's how you download it. Just click here. It's going to download, you install it. And just be aware that when you open Enki, you're going to have the, you see, desktop app, if you have a Windows. Uh, sometimes it gives you an error message. So I'm going to open it to show it to you. This is after you install it, okay? So it takes a little while sometimes to open, depending on how many files you have there. And... Okay, it's opening. It's opening. You can download it for the 64 bit and the 32 bit, depending on the computer you have. And they also even have the error problems, you see. You see, if closing in Anki does not help, please try restarting your computer, then running the installer again. That's what I told you in the email. So that's what you have to do if the program is not loading. And then, you know, here they have some other different things that can happen. Still opening. Okay. Okay, okay. This, e uh, this website, guys, is on the Friday email. I'm going to open the Friday email just so you understand what I'm talking about. So this is my email. Don't look too much. <laughs> Many secrets here. I uh, go to your email, look for Friday email. Here we are. Then that's the beautiful email you're going to see. Congratulations on completing this week. Da -da -da. Hope you have, um, this is a video about flashcards that um, the guy is not talking about apps for flashcards he's, he's speaking about paper flashcards so um but he's talking about why flashcards are so important in learning that's a very interesting video now inky so you have to download the software clicking here if you click here you're going to go to the same website that i was and then you download here for windows or mac so that's the first step and then you open it. So there you go. This is what um, we have. Let me minimize everything. There we go. Or open this bigger. There we go. So here, this is the software, guys. This is the software. And this is where you're going to make your flashcards and where you're going to download your decks. Okay? So as you can see, I have... Oh, no. Is this out of? What happened? OK, 
Can you guys see my screen or are you seeing just a logo? Because all I see on my phone is a logo and I'm not sure. I can still hear my voice, but I'm not sure you guys can see my screen. Let me let me try again. OK. OK, you see me now? Hello. Hello back. Um, let's see if I show up here. It's lagging a little bit, so I'm just waiting. Ah, okay, so I'm back here. Let me let me try to go back to screen share. Okay, let's share. I hope now it works. So let's see if you guys can see this. Yeah, I should have put on low late latency because it's taking too long. Oh, well. Okay, so you guys can see it now. This is the software that um, is the ANQ one. So first thing that you should do is log in. When you put sync, you, they're going to give you the option to log in with your account. So try syncing it first before you do anything because that will be easier. And after you sync, it's going to be synced with your phone, with AnkyWeb. So first of all, let's, let's do um, downloading Dex because that's the easiest thing. And um, you can do that easily. So as you can see, I have one deck here. But what you have to do to download app, um, Dex is you have to go to AnkyWeb. You see AnkyWeb is different than Anki software. Not this one, this one. So this is when Anki Web. You have Anki Web, you have Anki software, and Anki app on your phone. Okay. So Anki Web is where you're going to get the decks. I'm gonna click here on Get Shared Decks. Okay. First one. Okay. Here, Get Shared Decks. And then you have English. You can also search in the search box for something specific. Um, but, you know, if you just click English, you have all of this. Please try focusing on the English, English um, flashcards. So let's see. Let's get a good one here. Um, essential idioms. No, I don't want idioms. Um, okay, 500 English words with pictures and audio. You see, I just went through the list and I found one that I liked and then I click on it. So it's this and it's going to show you a sample. You see here, a sample from, um, for you to see. So you have a picture. And you have the you have the the word, and you can even play it. Can you hear it? Finger. So this is a great flashcard set. So I want to download it. I'm gonna download it. Download it to your desktop. You can download it to whatever. I'm just downloading to your desktop. This is what I didn't know how to do last week, and I learned. Now it's not too complicated, but you have to have the Anki Anki software. So you see, it's downloaded here. Um, I'm going to open the program. And you can do either file and import or just double click on the file. But let's do file import. File import, and here it is on my desktop, five English words, speak with pictures. Just find the file and you close. And there it is. You see, now I have it here, 500 English words. Guys, if you are there, tell me if you can see, tell me if the image is matching what I'm saying, just so I'm sure that um, it's okay, okay? So, okay, now um, I have the 500 English words. If you wanna practice, you can just click on it and you can study now. So study now. Oh, in this case is listening. So you're gonna 
Oh, no, no, I'm kidding. Uh, so, yeah, you have to learn the words. I think this is, uh, I would say, ear or listening or something like that. So I'm going to show answer here. You see? And you can hear the audio here. So if you knew that this is here, you, this is the downside of getting flashcards made by somebody else is because you don't know exactly what the flashcards will have. But let's say I didn't know what here was, so I'm going to do again. It's going to show me in one minute, less than one minute. If I put good, it's going to show me again in less than 10 minutes. And if it's easy, it's going to be four days because you don't need it right now. Okay? So I'm going to see again. So this picture is a desert. So I'm saying desert. And when I do show answer, oh, sand. Okay. It's a sa sand in the desert, but sure. So let's say it was good. Now cup or glass. And if you show the answer, glass. So you can do this in the computer or you can do this in, on your phone. So if it's synced, so let's go back to sync. If you sync both, it's going to be, you see, it's syncing. And it's going to be on your phone. It's going to be both on the computer software and on your phone. Okay? Please tell me if you have questions because um, I see that it's lagging a little bit. The video is taking a little long. So just tell me if you're following me, okay? If you need me to go slower, if you need me to repeat anything. So while that goes, okay, I'm going to close this. I'm going to stop. Okay. Oh, that might be why, guys. Oh, I think that's why. Got it. So I found out why the connection is not really good. Is because if I do something heavy, like I was trying to sync Anki or open Anki, Anki, um, the the connection was not uh, handling both doing something heavy in the computer and having a live stream. So that's why <laughs> things were not working very well. So now I'm going to avoid um, trying to do anything heavy in the computer while I talk to you. Okay. So let's go back to my screen. Screen share. Okay. So number one, getting shared decks. Are you guys okay with that? Are you okay? And an interesting thing about Anki is that Anki will only give you 20 flashcards to study each day. It's not going to give you the entire deck. It's going to give you a little bit every day for you to study uh, so you don't get overwhelmed. So if you want to study 20 cards a day or if you want to study more or less, you can, you can also define that on the program. Um, okay, so that's that. That's really easy. You can, if you guys haven't seen this, uh, improve your listening with TV series. It's a great flashcard, guys. I'm just going to show it to you. So you have here, you see you have the listening and you have the expression. So if you put show answer, you see you can listen to, uh, it's, it's about friends. You can listen to a line while you read the, 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 the sentence and that's really good for you for your listening. You see, and then you can listen to it many times until you get it. You try to write it down or you can show the expression or show the answer. And read it at the same time. It's a good way to test your listening skills. So because they're speaking on a native level, you know, it's a TV show. So they're just speaking normally. So I love these flashcards and um, I don't know why it's not working right now, but it usually shows the video. It shows a video of them speaking. So if you want to download that, I think I put in the email. Let me, let me, no, why did I close? Oh, good Lord. Okay, let, let me, let me go back to myself. Okay, back to me. 
uh, it's just because every time, I don't know why I closed it. So sorry, guys. I closed the program. I wanted to minimize it. So now I'm going to have to open the program again, and it's going to affect the live streaming. So hang on with me for one second. Okay. Okay. It was quicker this time. So that's good. Okay. So going back to the decks on IncuWeb, when you go to IncuWeb, you have all of these options for um, flashcards. If you go back here, you see you have all of these options that you can download. It's like a thousand different options, but some of them are only, um, some of them are in different languages. Some of them, you have a lot of different things here. So it, it's a good idea to explore and to try to find things that you like. You see six minute English, 1200 English grammar tasks with answer and explains and explanations. I don't know. Now look at this. You have a bunch of different uh, grammar topics. Um, yeah, and you, you can see how the flashcards look. Look at this. You can see it before you download it. It's beautiful. And Anki is really nice. Anki, like, is really, really nice. So you can take a look. This music group, and then you have options here uh, for you to test your grammar. Look at that. And they will give you the, the, um, the answer. So it's a beautiful thing, guys. Explore. Please explore these resources because they really, really help. Um, so you can uh, have a preview here, and you can download here. And then you download to your computer. Open the Anki software and then you file, import, and then you find the file in your computer. Okay? It's really easy, really, really straightforward. Okay? And once you click on sync, I'm not going to do that again, <laughs> but once you click on sync, it will also show up on your phone if you, if you are logged in. Make sure you're logged in on both. Okay? So awesome. That's done. Tell me now, do you guys, uh, let's, let me go back to the camera. Do you guys have any questions about download the Anki software, about Anki web, and about downloadi, downloading um, Anki cards? Tell me now or be forever silent. No, I'm kidding. You can ask me later. But <laughs> just write to me on the chat. Write to me on the chat if you're clear, if things are clear, or if you need me to explain it to you a little better. Okay, I don't hear anything on the chat. So if you ask something later, I'll, I'll be sure to go back to it, okay? Just write on the chat if you have any questions. Okay, so now let's go to the second part, which is making flashcards, okay? So I'm going to go back to the email because I know I give you a lot of information. So I'm going to try to break it down to you, what I've been talking about. Um, I wish I could put myself on like the little, let me see. Okay, I am presenting to everyone. Yeah, I can't show myself. I can have to figure that out, guys. I'm so sorry. But let's go back to the um, to the website. Um, okay. So here's the email. First part of the email, it's about Anki only. So here is for you to uh, download Ink Anki for your computer. That's how it looks like. Anki manual, it's there if you open it. It's everything about Anki, everything, even things I'm not telling you. So this is a great resource to have. Um, okay. 
And then I told you about getting shared decks and Anki Web. So that's that. And then I put here three very, very important videos. Please watch these videos. I took great care on finding videos that were really useful for you. So first one is the basic is basics and shared shared decks, how to download and use decks. So this is just, you know, what I just explained to you, but better explained because <laughs> the person did a really good job on this email, on this video. Second one is creating closed style flashcards with uh, ones that you can type in. And if you read my email, you know that close is um, filling the blanks. So it's when you have, let me show you here. So this is close. You have a, a sentence with something missing. That's what close means, okay? So this is a way for you to practice with flashcards. So here it shows you in this video how to create effective close style flashcards. And uh, this third video is how to make different card types from the same resources. So if you have like vocabulary that you want to practice in different ways, this guy is teaching you how to use your resources in, in different ways, okay? Please watch those videos. They are very, very short, very succinct. You just have to click on them. They will open YouTube. There you go. This is like seven minutes long. It's not that long. The second one is, whoops. It's really short too. If you click on the video, you open it and it's five minutes long, okay? So there's no reason for you not to explore this. And then I also put some extra resources for Quizlet. This is another video that explains how to use it. But I, last week, this week I've been in our coaching calls. I've been helping you learn Quizlet and, excuse me, Anki. So just tell me, guys, if you cannot use it. Don't wait until the end of the week. Ask me today if you don't know how to use um, one of the apps, okay? Uh, here is for a uh, Quizlet deck about, it's just an extra deck, but also on Quizlet, you can search and you can find 1,000 decks. So you see here, quizlet.com, you go search, you can put English vocabulary, and then you search, and then you have 1,000 different um, you see, you have here education, study, jobs. You have grade six, which is not what you want. Advanced English vocabulary, verbs for the top. You know, you, you have so many resources, guys, so many resources. I think like you can use uh, vocabulary from these pre-made flashcards, but most importantly, making your own flashcards is the most important thing. Okay. So Super Memos, if you're trying to use that one too, you can uh, watch another video. You click here, it opens, beautiful. And here is a tutorial how to transfer Anki cards to Super Memo. And that's Super Memo, I'm sorry. And that can be very useful, you know, if you, wanna, if you don't want to pay for Anki on iPhone. You can definitely use Super Memo for free and get the decks from Anki. Okay? Awesome. So I hope you watched, this video wasn't like too instructive, but sure. Uh, I was talking about the different types of flashcards and here you have production, listening, close and shadowing. So you have um, different types of flashcards and I try to explain here a little bit what how the flashcards work. So production flashcards are the ones that you're going to generate content. So it can be with an image, it can be with audio, and that would be listening to. It can be with a word that you have to give a definition or a definition, you have to give it a word. Um, it, can be, it can be like so many ideas. You can go to the Wanky web and go through the, the decks and you can get ideas from there too. You can have a sentence with a word in bold and you have to tell the definition. 
you like there are so many things you can do but production is mostly about um memorizing vocabulary structures all that good stuff and you can also create new strategies um i'm just separating it production listening and stuff just so you know it's organized but it doesn't matter how you call it then the second type is listening tell me tell me if you're seeing the screen i don't know if you're seeing the screen because on my phone it's stuck on one screen let me go back to the camera are you seeing my screen are you tell me now let me raise the volume here a little bit okay so the audio is real time but the screen for some reason is not okay now it's back to me i don't know why guys i don't know if it's my connection or something is going on with youtube or whatever but it's not showing to you real time which is very annoying and i apologize if uh, i'm gonna go back to this video if it's not real time i'm gonna record a video for you guys recording my screen and showing you step by step everything that i'm talking about okay awesome so um let's go back to my screen let me let me get some give me a second there we go i have um headsets now so i can listen to me talking i don't know if this will be confusing hopefully not i'm seeing myself in the past <laughs> uh, but i just want to know if you guys are listening or hearing me and if the um the screen is following okay okay i'm gonna share my screen again okay so now we have um i was talking about the different types of flashcards did you get that part please write to me on the chat don't leave me speaking by myself so we have production like i was saying you can have an image on the front a word on the back or a word on the front and a definition on the back you can have so many things guys it depends on what you're studying really but like i was saying if you want to go to anki web and um explore options you know you can get some good ideas here um let's see i don't want you to get things in portuguese please don't get things in portuguese because we need this immersion program um but you know you can also use portuguese uh, uh, it's relative well it's a um case by case kind of thing but let's do this one words so you see this is a word with the pronunciation you see and uh on the back you have the definition so and uh an example examples are very important guys producing examples when you we say production uh producing examples are very important so this is an idea you can go back and look at other ideas this is just for ideas okay um let's see phrase of verbs yeah but i i don't want i don't want you guys to have the 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 translation i would prefer images because if you watch the first video on the email you're gonna know that images are very very important so let's see this one there you go so you you, you see here you have an image you have the sound climb use your hands and feet to go up on something there you go you have like this is really good actually so you have a bunch of explanations and you have a suggestion and then you have the explanation it means to use your hands and feet to go up on something that's the climb 
and then you have the keyword climb and here it's vietnamese it's english vietnamese so if you guys want to learn some vietnamese there you go <laughs> so you see you have here um an image with a suggestion to help you remember and the explanation and the keyword so this is a very good set of flashcards that you can use as an idea so let's go back to the email so this is production there are 100 different ways you can do it you can mix and match you can you know do whatever you want and then you have listening you can also you can do pure listening uh, uh, practices you can do um, sentences you can do words you can do so many different things and then uh, like the listening with series you can do the audio on front on the front and the sentence on the back so you can test your listening uh, you can have the audio with a tip or you can have close so going to close so you understand what close is is just the filling the gaps gaps are things that are missing okay so you have one or two words missing from a sentence and you have to complete you can use in conjunction with an image or an audio file or um in with grammar topics you can use multiple choice so for example this past tense i gonna know my mother last sunday and you have to use the the verb see so i want you to say i saw my mother and that's something you can do you know in your flashcards you can also you could also instead of having the verb here you could have an audio file an audio file where um, you have a word missing and you have to listen to the word. So that's more listening practice than um, grammar practice or vocabulary, okay? So, or you can, um, for clothes, you can have images and a sentence. So I like eating and then you can have a picture of a cake and then you're, you're practicing cake, okay? and the last type of of cards are shadowing so shadowing cards are created for pronunciation practice uh those are the simplest ones to make because you just choose a sentence that you want to repeat after it's good for you to do the audio too so audio and the sentence written down um and you repeat after it so you just repeat after it uh, and you repeat as many times as you want. You can record yourself and compare to the audio. There are a lot of different things you can do. Main thing here, guys, have fun. There, you can make it a game. You know, you can make the using the apps like a game that um, you're learning how to use a new app and practice English and just do something new. Okay. Then gather the vocabulary. Um, like i i want to show you guys like in practice how to do what i'm telling you to do so for example i'm going to open an article here on let's talk let's see let's talk about london okay because i'm in london we can speak about london um let's say you went to oh there you go elephant man Joseph Merrick's unmarked grave. So Elephant Man is like a, a big mystery, a big um, thing about um, this guy that looked like an elephant. And they found his grave. He was like, Ugh, poor guy. So you're reading this article. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, you're reading the article. So you you see the unmarked grave of joseph merrick the victoria freak show exhibit better known as the elephant man has been discovered in london an author an author has claimed so you can use for example you don't know what unmarked is so you go you go to the free dictionary um you get the unmarked grave or maybe you don't know what grave means but before everything you're going to do some prediction right so i'm not going to go fully into detail but you're going to see the title you're going to see 
uh, the, the headline. So biographer says she's 99% certain she has checked down correct site. So you're talking about biographer. You're talking about Elephant Man, which is um, kind of something in history. So now you're talking about... Um, you're talking about history. You're talking about somebody's story. So if you don't know what grave is, that's a good moment to go to Google Translate, word reference, open word reference, word reference, and go and see what is grave. Let's see what's grave. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Okay. No, not English, French, English, English, English definition. There we go. Grave. Sorry, guys, I was studying French, so. <laughs> so grave. Grave is a place in the ground in which to bury, uh, bury a dead body. So that's where we put dead bodies. So that's a grave. You can also Google what grave is. Sometimes that works. So you go to images, those are graves, you see? So sometimes the images will help you figure out what it is. Without Portuguese, what a beautiful thing. So now we know grave. We know that Joseph Merrick is dead because we're talking about his grave. So think about the words that you're gonna see. You're gonna see dead, you're gonna see uh, memory, remember, um, we're going to be talking about maybe his death, how he died. So you see, that's the production, the prediction part that I talk about on reading. It's for you to imagine what you're going to be reading about. So the author, you're going to be talking about somebody writing a book or writing an article. So he will be say, talking about writing, about biography, a biographer. So she's 99% certain. <laughs> so she's not 100% certain, but she's 99% that she knows where Joseph Merrick uh, or Elephant Man, how he was known, um, his grave, where his grave is. Okay. So just by doing this little bit of a prediction practice, uh, you're, you know, it'll be a lot easier to read the article. And then look at the image. That's that's why he was called Elephant Man. There is a movie about him. So there you go. Now going back to the, the actual thing. The Omar Grave of Joseph Merrick. So here, to make a flashcard out of this, um, we could just get, a, 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 um, just take a sentence from the article or make your own sentence. You have both options. So now, using this, I'm gonna show you how to make a flashcard. Going back to Anki, the software. I'm gonna keep saying Anki instead of Anki. I, I can't say Anki, even though that's the correct pronunciation. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna go here on add. Go on add, and then you're gonna, choose the type of flashcards you're gonna do. So you have basic, you have basic and reverse card, you have optional, you have typing the answer, close and simple. So let's say uh, we're gonna do, let's see, let's say we're gonna do typing the answer with an image. Look at us, so fancy. So you're gonna do choose. We're gonna paste the the sentence here. I'm gonna uh, you see mark grave, and I'm gonna click on these three little dots. This the um you see, and then when you see the flashcard, the word is not going to be there. And uh, if you watch the videos that I told you to watch. Okay, I don't think you guys are seeing the program. Why? Oh, I think it's because of Google. Okay, that's why. 
Okay, let me go back to... Oh, that's why. I'm going to share my entire window. That might be why. Sorry, guys. That's why it wasn't showing to you, I think. Maybe. Let's see if it's going to show up now on the screen. There we go. Okay. So, um, again, sorry. Let me go back so I can show it to you. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to make a video about this. It's fine. So, you're going to click on add. Oh, let me get my power cable before I run out of battery and then I go out. Okay, give me a second. I'm trying to find my cable and connect my computer so I don't die. Well, the computer doesn't die and leave us hanging. So, okay, I'm plugging in my computer, plugging in my adapter. Okay. I'm coming, guys. I am coming back. Okay, let's see. Sorry, this is taking a little long. I'm going to have to make a video about this. Give me a second, guys. Just a second. Okay, I hope my computer doesn't die. I'll be talking to you while I try to figure this out. Let's see. Oof. Okay, got it. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I'm back. Okay, so I was showing to you the article. So you selected a sentence, you go back to Anki, you click on add, it's going to open this window, and now you're going to choose which kind of uh, flashcard you can make. You can make a bunch of different ones, type in the answer, let's do type in the answer. Choose, and then you can, on the front, I'm going to put the sentence, I'm going to select grave. And I'm going to click on these three little dots. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to do close because otherwise it's not going to work. So go back to type, close, choose. Now you're not going to see grave. Um, if you want to do um, typing in, if you go to Anki manual, so I'm just going to go to Anki Manual. Let's see. Anki Manual. Then you can go um, card types. You see card types. No types. It's here somewhere. I think you can do, just do, yeah, you have to watch the video because the video explains to you how to do it well. I'm not super, um, oh, I think it's, um, oh, and you can choose the deck too, okay? I'm going to put here on default because that's what I was, the one that I created. 
I think you have to click somewhere, but we'll see that later on the on the view. Okay, so you're gonna see the unmarked of Joseph Merrick. Now I wanna watch, I wanna add a picture of a grave. Remember here? So I'm gonna download this image uh, to my desktop. Grave. And I'm gonna put this image here. So here you go. You click on that little file thing, clip, and you're gonna open, and you can open the picture. Look at that, how pretty. And then you're gonna put here, you know, the same sentence, but now with everything. You see, while you're doing it, you're, you're already learning. So now when I click add, um, I'm gonna close here, and I'm gonna go to default, and then you go to study now, there you go, the unmarked, and then there's the image to help you remember. And then you're gonna remember, oh, that's grave, the unmarked grave of Joseph Merrick. And that's how you use an article to create flashcards and to gain vocabulary. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that easy? Tell me, it's, it's not easy for you to start doing it, but once you start doing it, it's really easy. So, you can do this in a bunch of different ways with all the articles you read, all the videos you watch, everything you do really. So it's it's really a really good resource. And this last week of our course, I want you to start exploring the apps because they will be able to help you. Let me stop screaming. Screaming. Um, they can help you gain a lot of vocabulary very quickly. And please try to do some yourself, okay, this week. So this week, it's going to be our last week of content, of strategy, of conversation sessions. So please give it your best. Give the best everything you have this final week. Because after this next week, uh, we're not going to have conversations four times a week anymore. I know you're going to miss it. It's going to be, I know. Uh, first, you think it's too much, but then after you're doing it, you get used to it. And after you don't have it, it's kind of sad. So, <laughs> um, so we're gonna after next week, we're gonna just we're gonna I'm gonna tell you guys how to find conversation partners. You can also pay for conversation partners. Uh, there are a lot of things that we can do, and I'm also gonna offer you follow up uh, things for later. Ideally, you're going to get a very good head start on creating your own studying routine. That's the point of this program is for you to become independent. But later on, I'm going to be offering like short, you know, very um, focused little programs for you guys. And hopefully um, my goal for either until the end of the year or mid 2020 is to have an immersion um, trip. So I, I have a lot of plans and I would love to provide you guys with an experience in the United States that shows you culture, that shows you, um, gets you to practice English, it's just English, 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 no Portuguese at all during like a week and make it accessible, make it something that's not going to be like break the bank you know it's not going to be super expensive so i have all of these plans and i hope that we can you know really work together to get you to a point where your english is really good so you know well we'll we'll talk we'll talk about everything so okay um now for our fourth week that's the last thing i want to cover in this last four minutes for five minutes this last week Every day, you're going to have the option to choose how you're going to practice each skill. So I gave you three weeks, three different strategies for you to practice pronunciation, reading, listening, and grammar. And now it's your turn. I'm not going to be telling you what to do. You're going to be deciding what to do. So you're going to go either back in all the emails and, okay, you're going to see, okay, Monday, I'm going to practice pronunciation. How I'm going to do that? I can create some flashcards to do some shadowing to repeat after native speakers. I can um, make a video, like, uh, you know, um, dubbing 
a video or I can sing along. What am I going to do to practice pronunciation today? You're going to come up with the way you're going to, to, to practice. Tuesday is listening. How am I going to practice listening? Am I going to use these uh, strategies from week one? Am I going to use news? Am I going to use a tutorial? Am I going to use a song? How am I? I'm going to use lyrics training. You choose how you're going to practice. There's a thousand different ways. Am I going to create some flashcards with listening? Reading. What do you like to read? What gets you excited? And please, guys, what I'm trying to teach you here is flexibility and you, pers like, you, you have the ability to personalize anything you want to do. So if you want to study 15 minutes, study 15 minutes or, you know, watch a short video, read a short article or just half of the article. It doesn't matter. What matters is study a little bit every single day. That's going to be the key to get you fluent in no time. I promise you. So how are you going to practice grammar? You have grammar quizzes. You have YouTube channels. You have grammar apps. You have, you know, you can get what you study to uh, flashcards. Let's say now I'm going to learn 20 different irregular verbs. Let's say 10, 10 different irregular verbs. Make flashcards with irregular verbs. Do, did, make sentences with it. How can you use it? Can, could, make sentences. I want you to become independent. I want you to make your own study material. I want you to explore what works for you. And if you find something else that works for you that you can do for 15 minutes a day, do it. Do it and share it with me. Share it with your, your classmates, the WhatsApp group. So that fourth week, this fourth week is like, is the essential one, is the one that you get the power to decide what you're going to do. From everything that I've shown you, I've, I've given you a lot of ideas and I'm going to keep giving you ideas, but it's your decision how you're going to learn them okay so that's it still have two minutes but i'm going to end it here if you have any questions write it on the whatsapp group write it well here we're already done so write it on the whatsapp group send it to me on private um just let us know what you need help with okay so i'm going to count on you to communicate with me and to try the strategies, try everything you've learned so far on our fourth and last week, okay? Super proud, super happy that you guys are, I can, I can hear the difference in your English. I hope you can hear it too, because you guys are a lot more confident, a lot more secure speaking. We're speaking English, guys. We've been speaking English for the last four weeks that we've been together, since pre-course. We've had English all day long. Do you see how, how amazing that is? That a month ago, you had no idea what I was saying. And today you can follow me. You can understand a lot better, a lot easier. I like, I, I'm so super proud because you guys are my first um, group that actually went through the program the way I envisioned it. And... I am super glad that it is working. You know, I'm making adjustments, but it is working and you guys are getting a lot better with your English. And that's all on you. Nothing on me. I have done nothing. You uh, put in the effort, you put in the time, you put in the, the strategies and you're getting the results. Okay. So any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. And I'll be speaking to you tomorrow morning on our audio. Okay? Awesome. Have an awesome week, guys. And I'll speak to you later.